Hi all, my name is Gagan and welcome to today's session of how to automate a web browser using Selenium WebDriver with language Ruby. Today's session will cover six topics that is how to install Ruby in a system, installing Selenium WebDriver JAWS for Ruby, launching a Firefox browser through Ruby file, launching a Firefox browser from command prompt, downloading Ruby language package for Eclipse IDE and launching a Firefox browser from Eclipse IDE. So we'll start with our session by installing Ruby in our system. So we'll navigate to google.com and we'll type Ruby download for Windows. Hit enter. And you can see the first link that comes in is Ruby installer for Windows. Open this link. Once the page loads, click on download. So in this page, you can see we have different version of Ruby. So the latest version is 2.3.0 and I'm using 2.2.4. So you can install any version over here. So I'll be installing 2.2.4. I'll click on this link. After you click this link, it'll ask to save the file. Since the file is already saved with my system, I'll not be saving it. I'll click cancel. I'll navigate to the path where it is already saved. I click on my path that is C drive, Ruby test, downloads. To install this particular Ruby installer, I'll double click the file. It'll ask for language. I'll click OK. Accept the agreement. Next, check this checkbox to add Ruby executable files to your path and click install. Since Ruby is already installed in my system, I'll not be installing it again. I'll cancel it. Say yes. Navigate to a command prompt to check whether Ruby is installed. So you'll type Ruby space hyphen V and hit enter. So you can say Ruby 2.2.4 is already installed now. So means the, insta uh, the installation is success. So for those who knows Ruby well, you can check the IRB version also that is IRB space hyphen V. You can check gem version also that is gem space hyphen V. Plus you can check gem sources as well that is gem space S O U R C E S that is sources enter. So you can see it is as of now pointing to Ruby gem dot org. Okay. So now it means the Ruby is installed in my system. So the second step is installing Selenium WebDriver JAWS for Ruby. So again, we'll navigate to google.com and we'll type Selenium WebDriver download. So we'll get this link that is downloads hyphen Selenium. We'll open this link. So in this page, you can see we have different version of Selenium WebDriver with languages. So for Ruby, we have 2.53.0. So we'll click on download link next to Ruby. It will navigate to rubygems.org. So we can see a different version of web driver over here. The latest is 2.53.1 that was updated on 9th of June. So for down downloading this web driver, we'll navigate to right hand side of the page where install section is there and we'll copy this particular command and we'll navigate to a command prompt. We'll paste this particular command over there and we'll hit enter. So once we'll hit enter, uh, this particular command will fetch all the web driver jars from the net and it will save, save it in your system. And uh, it'll take a couple of minutes for this. So just hold on a second. So for me, it is already installed, so I'll not be installing it now. So I'll just erase this command now. So once it is installed, so you want to check whether it is installed or not. So we'll type gem space list, hit enter. So in this particular window, you can see we have a file that is named Selenium WebDriver 2.53.0. It means Selenium WebDriver is installed. So now we are ready to go. So the third step says launching a Firefox browser through Ruby file. So now we'll navigate to a local folder where you want to save the files. I'll navigate to my local folder and create a file, a new file. I'll name it, let's say, launch browser and I'll remove the extension and I'll name it as dot IR dot RB that is Ruby. So it will ask to change the extension. I'll say yes. So now you'll see like the icon has changed to a Ruby icon. In order to edit this file, I'll just click right click and uh, I'll click on edit with notepad plus plus. So now we'll write our first code to launch a Firefox browser using Ruby. So we'll type require Ruby gems require 
selenium web driver driver selenium web driver dot four firefox so since we're using a firefox browser i am giving firefox over here so now we want to navigate to facebook.com so we'll type driver dot navigate dot to So once this is done, we want to print a message saying Facebook is loaded in Firefox browser. We'll save it. Once it is saved, in order to run this file, you'll go back to the saved location, double click this file. So you can see like after saving or after clicking this particular file, a command prompt is open. It means it is running. So a browser is launched and you can see the, uh, the website is getting loaded over here. It is connecting and yes, Facebook is loaded over here. So it means it's working fine. So I'll close the browser. So we are able to launch a Firefox browser through Ruby file. So now the second step is launching a Firefox browser from command prompt. So now I'll navigate to the folder, to the path where the file is placed. I'll copy the path. I'll open a command prompt and I'll type cd space the path. Hit enter. So we are in the path. So I want to run this particular file. So I'll just type the file name now. That is launch browser dot rb. Hit enter. So you can see it is running now. So the browser is launched again. It's navigating to facebook.com as mentioned. Okay, Facebook is loaded. It means the script is working fine from command prompt as well. We'll close the browser. So we can see the message that we have displayed in the script that is Facebook is loaded in Firefox browser. That is this one. It is printed. It means it is working fine. So the second last step that says download Ruby language package for Eclipse IDE. So we'll open Eclipse IDE now. So we'll create a new workspace. So let's say I'm creating a workspace named Ruby Auto. Click OK. Eclipse is open. I'll go to workspace or workbench, sorry. So now, as mentioned uh, in this point, we are now able, now we are trying to download Ruby language package for Eclipse IDE. So we'll open Eclipse and we'll just check which packages are installed as of now in our Eclipse. We'll go help and we'll see install details. So you can see I have four packages installed under this particular software. That is Cucumber Eclipse, then there is a Ruby, then there is Eclipse IDE, and then there is TestNG. So for me, like already Ruby is installed, so I'll not be installing it again. So for you, for those who it is not installed, you can just click on help and then you can navigate to install new software. Click on this work with and select Luna or whichever version you're using it in Eclipse. As you can see, uh, this particular files are getting loaded. So just we'll wait for a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds for it to load. Okay, so it's loaded. So we'll navigate down and we'll select programming languages. So you can see we have different language under this programming language that is C, C++. So we want to install Ruby over now. So we'll just navigate down. So if you want to install Ruby, it will come like dynamic language toolkit and then there is Ruby development tool. So since for me it is already installed, it is not displayed here. So if you want to install, you'll just check the checkbox next to the Ruby toolkit. And after checking it, you'll just simply click next and then you'll install it after accepting the agreement. Cancel it. So after it is installed, 
you want to create a Ruby project. So for this, you'll create this perspective window. Once it is open, you'll select Ruby over here. Click OK. So the Ruby subtype comes in and it is activated now. So you just create a new project that is new Ruby project. You'll type the name, let's say Ruby test. So once it is done, you can see an error message that comes in. That is at least one interpreter must be configured. So you'll click on this configure interpreter link. Click on add. Navigate to the path where Ruby is installed. For me, it is installed in Ruby 22-x64 bin path. I'll, I'll go to the path and I'll select ruby.exe. Open. OK. You can see it is coming over here now with the name ruby.exe. OK. Click finish. So you can see your project is created. Now we'll try to create a Ruby file over here. Right click new file and give the name. Let's say I'm giving the name as launch browser dot rb as it is a Ruby file. I'll click or I'll save the file. I'll click finish. The file is created and you can see a Ruby icon over here. It means it's a Ruby file. So now I'll be creating uh, a Ruby script over here in Eclipse to launch a Firefox browser. So for saving time, I'll be just copying the old script that we've created and I'll paste it there. So I'll just copy it. I'll navigate back. I'll just paste it here. I'll save it. So now the file is saved. So to run this file, I'll just right click, go to run as and click run script. So once you click it in the console, you can see the script is running. The browser is launched. And it's trying to navigate to facebook.com as it's mentioned in the script. So facebook.com is loaded. It means the script is working fine. I'll just go to my Eclipse now and you can see the same message over here. That is Facebook is loaded in Firefox browser that is mentioned over here. It means the script is working fine from Eclipse as well. So if you can see, we have covered all the topic today and it all worked fine. So thanks a lot for watching this video. Keep watching. Thanks.